you're going to level up their game just an extra element. And out of the gates, if we saw that from Nuke uh, and they bring that same energy into Overpass, they're going to be just fine here. I have no questions about that. Just uh, going to be an interesting adjustment. Yeah, for teams to continue being at the top, they need to adapt. And these new lineup changes for Imperial, well, they've worked perfectly. They've adapted their playstyle with the addition of Zack and Jota. And now they bring themselves to Overpass with a potential quick, easy 2-0 to make themselves at home in Malta. What a huge surprise this could be for many of us watching. As Imperial will take to the T side to try and bring themselves to Malta. My name is Fi, I'm joined by Colt X and Rick Henry, as, well, the surprise continues here with Imperial, but a gush landed onto Bolts to begin this one. Striking a little bit of fear into the hearts of Imperial, something that they didn't really feel on their T side of Nuke. So a quick headshot, going to keep things at bay. This time, no connector stat coming through from 0-0. Zero, zero. So they're free range to mosey their way on up. Although, good news is, they do have that triple up on the A side, so they've got the right resources, they've got the right numbers, and that's probably as a result of this aggression. You can see Cold Zarin and QC, they both have pushed in towards the short and monster side of things, so for the most part, they know exactly where this is going. Slow creep up on towards this A site, but three players in position for 0-0. Zero, zero. They have the keys to make this round work. Sarah, Lotto, Lotto swinging out for long, tap, tap, can't quite hit the headshot though, now he's pinned down, now Cold Sarah's gone, now Cello has just swept through the entire site with a single P250. Oh my god. Get wrecked. What are you supposed to do about that? He just decimated your well, entire oh, oh, roster, wait, well, maybe whoa. they have a reply. No. Short lived. They will get traded out and there's the cutoff here. Oh, Skumao doesn't get the bathroom. She's in for a world of hurt. And Jota will put an end to things right then and there. But what a sick round from Jello. Just coming into it. Ready to go. And as soon as you think 0-0 Nation, they have things going their way. They have those three players on A. Well, Jello, he's one man army. This man is... I think that's been his whole brand as this part of Imperial. I mean... Remember some of the series that they've won. Talk about the series against Complexity and got them to the major. First of all, one of the most legendary matches of the year. Oh, yeah. For sure. But that man was on a tear. He was single-handedly keeping Imperial in the game. And he's doing it again. He's being set up in these roles to just make things happen. And the most important thing is not just to set up, but the fact he's able to execute on it. That's the most impressive thing. Yeah, very influential. There's no question about that. And again, when you join him up with uh, one of his, his former teammates who he's been very comfortable with, I mean, Cello and Jota have kind of, uh, if you count MIBR's uh, tenure, grown up in the scene together in some sense. And now they get to continue to grow together in this new project. So super exciting stuff for, for them. And uh, Cello, he's just you know picking up where he left off. Same energy, same success. To Maldo Mag 7 and towards Connector. He's going on a little escapade. Trying to find some foothold. Trying to find some players with their backs turned. And that could be exactly what he gets here as well. Uh, I think Bolts, though, is a little too aware. And the back 10 oh, yeah. is going to work well. So Lotto, I mean, he'll tuck away into the corner. But this position is sort of the definition of one and done it anything more can he change that narrative eagle shots firing off it's none it's traded it's imperial with the sight they just keep on dominating another double another multi-kill for cello and taco coming out on this flank no connection cello another three piece for him that's a crazy yeah. crazy thing yeah back to back right there coming into this one looking very very solid and uh it's exciting to see uh cello uh Again, played very well in that last map. He wasn't really struggling too much, but uh, right out of the gates, being able to, you know, feel the success, going to feel super confident. And again, like you said, the overpass performances that he has delivered already in last year, man, it does kind of get you excited if you can yeah. do that again. <laughs> Just got back to back three Ks. And he's, start, he's running up a storm again. He's just gunning it through Monster. And another... Has he gotten all three opening kills in these rounds? I think he, he's close to it. 
I haven't I think quite Bolt's got it track. in the last one because of the Mag 7 push, but we yeah. can still count it, right? Yeah, I that mean... that was on the side execute. He's the spearhead. And, well, the rest of Zero Zero, are they the kebab? I mean, they're getting skewered right now. That's <laughs> Penny. Oh, my goodness. Tippy top. Two players go down in heaven. That's three for Imperial. I don't know. I, I don't think Imperial can find a way to lose just yet. We'll see if that's, this is the round they can. Yeah, again, it's good stuff from them being done so far. It's uh, picking up the same momentum that they left off with. So all good signs, but this is where the first gun round is going to come through and overpass one of the more CT-sided maps that we have in the pool. Though I think it's kind of being figured out. You, you couple that with the A1S nerf and this map, I think we should see some more balance in the year 2023. At least that's what we hope. As things continue to develop. But nonetheless, so this is where you have to plant your feet, Zero Zero Nation. You really can't afford to get off to such a lackluster start like you did in that last map because you can pretty much kiss this series goodbye. Again, it wouldn't be the end of the world. You're going up against the opposition that you know you just dismantled yesterday if you take an L in this series, but the path of least resistance is closing this one out. Look, man, it's a pride factor as well. Both teams probably benchmarked themselves against each other. Like, these two teams... Going into that mage, which is a couple months back, we're neck and neck. Right? Of course, it's, you know, it's two major winners and their project versus Fallen and his group of guys. It was Fallen and Fur. Fallen, yeah. last man standing, of course, but seems that the new boys on the block could definitely work out for him. Yeah, that's very exciting this is a project that everyone loves to see the experienced players the veterans joining up with young guns and look at that angle there fallen able to work into the right position Vinny right nearby is able to couple up and zoom out desperate Shots. attempt to try and recover they're not going to be able to in time they just get swiped aside by that aggression on a and imperial gonna take their claim on the a site it's just utter dominoes man fallen just out snipe the 18 year old nqz there's a 13 year gap <laughs> those kills somewhere in between there you could I mean uh, bring up another young gun in between the age of NQZ and Fallen like you said though the guy is sharp as ever Choda going to deny an exit and Cold Zera think... packs against the wall I mean okay let's see if you can find this against Bolt alright first kill sure I think he's going to hold on to this gun but the fact that Fallen just on a straight swing beat NQZ, caught him napping on the angle. That's just something that shouldn't be happening for 0-0. Zero, zero. It wasn't happening yesterday, I'll tell you that. What a yeah. what a play. A couple uncharacteristic misses on Nuke, if you remember. A yeah. couple of understandable clutch losses as well, right? No, no real fault in, in some of those, but like you said. Just uh, a guy that's been so sharp in this event so far, falling a bit out of place in this series is worrisome. Uh, no question about it. Just the high highs, and right now we're kind of getting a little bit of the lows of the QZ. As Cold Zero with his saved gun is trying to take a lot of ground, trying to take a lot of space. He's doing just that, but doing their due diligence as Imperial, being so very patient. Because that's what's been working for them all throughout this uh, this map so far. Just slowing these rounds down, defaulting for as long as possible, and then the spring into action is so explosive. That's where the real you know, round begins, is as soon as they're ready for these executes. The kills, they fall like dominoes. Yeah. One kill after another after another, and a lot of... He, he's, he's in a tough position, some would say. <laughs> <It's again. laughs> Jeez. As soon as they're ready to spring into action, everyone just drops into the server immediately. You can see the double up in the mollies and connector. They are all prepared to flush them out of their footholds. Cold Sarah. So easily, but fall. Oh, he flicks for it. Oh, wow. fallen. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, that's another thing that we talked about. The, the big overpass matches, they haven't just been jello. 
this is honestly his his world. This map, we we know Fallen, at the peak of his ability, was a absolute stunner on this map, right? Yeah. So, it makes sense that even in his older years here, he's he's coming into it and firing on all cylinders, right? Ooh, all right. Okay. For, don't die of fall damage. Don't die. There you go. There you go. It's crazy how that little puddle I, is. Water. <laughs> it's like a, a styrofoam pit or something. I don't know. <laughs> Just like a, like a, it's like a. Hold on. Oh my gosh. All right, Taco. Yeah, it's crosshair on for the third. Nice it's try. so funny. It's so funny how just like water up to your ankles just absorbs the impact. Like we got Minecraft physics. Here yeah, in the it's actually Minecraft physics. <laughs> Imagine if oh, that man. was like in real life. Like people would para drop in and they just throw a little bucket of water and just ooh real physics. Oh, little rum boost. Real physics right there. Yeah, that's... I'm pretty sure I saw someone the other day do that. At, like, my gym or something. Some acrobatics. Some fancy footwork, but... Vinny does hit the brakes. He wasn't using that for any sort of accelerating purposes. And right now, they got a boost going on in towards this jump-up position. It will actually net them their only open pick so far in this map. Barring, I guess, that pistol that they did find, up. Uh, Oh, no, they didn't. It was Cello that found the opening pick, so even Whoa, though that's it is their first one. He does eventually get away in a very pressurized situation. Alright, so from the disadvantage... Oh. Not what? There? Oh, but the shot is from Fallen. Who needs a run boost? I mean, that's a mistake for sure right there from Dumao. And that can cost zero zero nation the only advantage they've been able to garner this game. Now it immediately goes back into level playing field here. NQC trying to take these aggressive approaches. He's trying to work these angles. He's hoping he can find some success in finding continued advantages. Finney, full clear on that angle. Not quite. He doesn't spot out fully on Lotto. So right now we're at a level playing field. There's only 25 on the clock, but we know how they like to spring into action. We know how explosive Imperial have been so far on these T sides. Lotto. That was the flash. Here's the relic. Vinny was just watching it the whole time. And QZ now on the site needs to put up a big hold against one of his biggest opponents yet. A second shot landed in. Now five seconds on the clock. There simply isn't time to plant that bomb. Or is there? Inside the smoke. Fallen's invincible. Oh, but... Just oh, no. after the time, the clock beats Fallen, and 0-0 will come away with the round. Oof. I mean, he dies after time, but no real worries. There's so much money in reserves for Imperial that they're still going to get purchased up in this one. But NQZ, that's much more like it right there. That's a round that you need. Whenever Imperial are, are using all of this utility and you're still alive in the late round to where they have no more flashes left... That's when he's going to do his best work. Those easy shots, he's just not going to miss those, right? So, excellent job from him finding that multi-kill. Because if he goes down on that site, again, with how effective those openers have been, with how nasty that first one was from... You know things are going the wrong way. Taco spamming down range. Runs out of ammo right before he can finish the job on a cello. Staying alive for now. Taco considering I'm pushing the issue after all of this spam. And, I mean, there's like 30 players watching this. Will it be accompanied with the flash? Do Mal has one primed? Oh, but it does not hit Fallen at all. And, well, he misses the shot. Cello does collect. No problem. In the meantime, Lotto up close. Jump peek there for Joe to Lotto. Eventually, we'll get it. Takes every bullet of that Flamont to get it through, but... That's enough, and with 50 seconds, Imperial probably have to set their eyes on this B site. To get an advantage, but that kill also nets them a lot of information as well, so a lot of giving them some extra credit here, but they're allowing them to make their way through Monster. This is a lot of space being taken by Bolts. He just needs to land the kills to back it up, and NQZ already rotating in towards Heaven is going to make that job a little easier, alleviating some of that oh. stress, but Bolts nails his head clean off.
Oh, no. This was looking so good for Zero Zero. Vinny even going up and above. He doesn't fuck hole, but he drops what? in right next to him. Vinny. Oh, that's such a move. What a play. And Lotto, he picks up the off, but there's nothing to say in this one. Zero Zero Nation, they had the opener. They even had the open sight line. They had to rotate the players. But Imperial just surpassed all of it. Wow. I cannot believe he just went for that. That's just the only thing that you do when you're up a map and you're already up f five rounds, four rounds on the uh, T side of overpass, right? That's the, the play that you pull out right there. When you have nothing to lose, you know everything's going your way. Nothing's going wrong. You can make some bold calls like that. and Perfect finisher coming through from Imperial taking those risks. At least Lada's going to walk away with this op, but I don't know if at this point we can really talk about, you know, you're walking away with some... some Economic damage, you're walking away with uh, weapons here, giving yourself some chances. You need to win some rounds now. That's the big detail. Rounds just need to get up on the board. Even with the big opportunities. Zero zero need to find a way to win around dominantly, it seems. I mean, some of the moves that Imperial are making, like Vinny deciding to drop into pit, that is a madman maneuver. Some wild stuff out of Imperial, catching Zero Zero Nation completely unawares. I mean, Imperial have simply looked like the better team so far. It's been Zero Zero Nation who have required triple kills out of nine. Or rather, out of NQZ. Gosh, NQZ and 9Z. Match made in heaven. But, mm -hmm. you know, it's required... It required that to even get that particular round over the line. It's taken multi-kills for Zero Zero Nation to make things happen. Everyone else is sitting below two kills. Like, look at the scoreboard right now on Zero Zero. Wow, that is so insane. No one's fragging right now. It's, it was the same case on last map, though, so it's not all that unfamiliar. It was the same exact thing that was haunting them, just a lack of firepower. Actually, you know what? I'll, I'll borrow that. Taco, in the early game, was doing a pretty good job, I gotta say. The guy was finding some nice injuries towards ramp he was delivering. But outside of that, there was some missing elements. I'll, I'll actually add cold, cold Zero to the mix there. Give him some credit. He was doing pretty well on nuke. And uh, NQZ clearly turning up in the CT side of Overpass, but that needs to be a, a guarantee for your opera, right? You need to be showing up on the CT side of Overpass. So now we need some extra elements here. He needs, you know, his teammates to step up, and one of which has been Dumao on that A side. It's been Lotto getting picked in a couple of these rounds on that A side as well. I always find it risky to contact walk against the Eco. Taco, I mean, both his kills come via this deagle. Anything else? Nah, the flashes are too good, but Lotto, they line up for him. He gets a double, but traded out by Vinny. And the meantime, though, called Zara, surprise fallen, knocked out of the sky. Another headshot, though, for Vinny, keeping and pressing that advantage. But Vinny goes down eventually, and there's no one to plant that bomb. Zero Zero Nation have just come away with an eco victory. A great lineup right there from Lotto, Hero Rifle. That's the sort of risk that you're talking about right there where you contact out of the monster, but you don't have any control of short. It's a pretty deadly angle if you don't have a molly or a smoke on your execute to deal with that position. Exactly like uh, he just played right there. And when all sights are turned towards graffiti and pit while you're trying to take sight control, you're vulnerable to that short side. You don't have any of that foothold. You don't have any of that ground and timeout crawled at the back of that here so a couple of times now you've seen that timer force him to awkward positions i feel like and, and the lack mm -hmm. of proactivity be a bit of a problem but i feel like at this point right now if you're imperial you can keep going for the same gameplay and you can keep going for the same play style because when it works out it's uh it's so promising sure it didn't in that last round but for the most part here with the current score and it has been working I think Imperial kind of underestimated their opponent in that round, completely discounting that short angle. Despite them not having any control. I guess they had fallen inside a connector, and maybe that gave them a false sense of security. That might have been the case. 
We'll see, though. It's a very forward setup here from Zero Zero Nation. First time they're breaking this one out. It could pay dividends if Jota gets picked off. In the meantime, though, it leaves a completely empty B site. There's only one Taco to hold that B site down. If Imperial recognized the weakness in the defense, this could be catastrophic. Yeah, what are they waiting for? It looks like they're looking to pounce, but they're stalling out ever so slightly. And they might want to let Jota make some contact here first before they pull the pin on things, but nasty offing oh, held there from Lotto is going to catch him off guard, walking right into his crosshair. A freebie kill, and this is where they start dispensing the rest of the troops here. They start spreading them out all throughout the map, and I mean, you include Cold Zero's position in this round, you know exactly where things are going. So now they've made the rotation, and they know exactly where the play is being made. Yeah, everyone's here. Flash in, try to make something work. Space has actually been gained on the site. Zero Zero have been forced back, but Cello feels the need to peek, and Lotta will take him out. If I'm Cello, I'm feeling so confident. I'd go for it. But now in a 1v4, left bolts. With nothing to do. Zero Zero Nation, just a completely clean round. The first of these kind of rounds that we've seen from them. That's it right there. Needed that one. A nice and flawless round to build some confidence here because those have been so very rare. Even back on Nuke, the rounds that they won were some serious clutches. NQZ uh, winning a 1v1 versus uh, his opposition there, closing out a round. And then the two others were, you know, Cold Zero with some nice entries, but outside of that, it was very strugglesome. So, finally winning a round with five alive is a huge change of pace here. And what feels like the first time Imperial are actually forced to eco in a round as well. Ooh, Cello, though. Off the back of all this utility being thrown, he's going to push through. But Cold Zero, oh. he's going to pass that test. Dumao even dropping in toward that short side. Double kill for him. And Bolts will, he'll scoop up an AK. But that's about all there is to be said about this round. Zero Zero Nation are looking to bounce back and, you know, they're about to get as many rounds or more rounds than they did on the map of Nuke. Gotta start somewhere. See if they can start to uh, build that momentum. Again, their job made a little bit easier by the CT side. All that being said, I don't think anything's coming too free versus this team right now. Especially this last kill. Volts is just being such a nuisance. A little fight here and there to do some damage, but I think QZ eventually going to put an end to things. It's a nice hop shot. And double digits now for him. He's starting to look very solid on this map. I think that's going to need to continue into the second half, but... If they can get like a 8-7, uh, a 9-6 scroll, then I could see a world where their momentum carries over into this next half and they can start to fight for a uh, map three here. We're looking to see that spree of rounds out of 0-0. Zero, zero. Of course, six on the T side could already be admirable for many a team. Yet another forward setup yet again, and Lotto sees the jump up. Fallen executed. And they're going to keep pressing this issue. They want to keep brawling. Lotto swings forward, repositions, third kill on the round. Jota swinging out next. Lotto, he's hungry for more, almost finishes off. Jota, but well, that's a good shot. Uh -oh. Jota, whoa, 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 things get weird. But Jota couldn't hit the last one on a Lotto to keep him in this one. Hold on. Jota, oh. a chance. Cold Zara's faster on the draw. It's Bolts. I mean, he has plenty of time to make this clutch happen. It would be a 1v3, now May 2. Wait a second. Ace? Free. A reposition from Taco inside of Connector has left them super vulnerable here. He has bomb in hand. Now, obviously, he doesn't know where his opposition lies in, so... That's the first big test. And the question is, can he beat Taco on the rotation? That's the second. If he hits the Jets now, he can start to guarantee that. But he does need to start running. And in the meantime, his opportunity is slowly slipping away. As you can see, Taco making his rotation as well. Inching his way ever forward. Bolts is inching his way up long. 
they've isolated the fact that he's A. Doom Allen's controlled that rotation, but over to that B site, so... Right now, 0-0, zero, zero, they're going to start setting up shop, getting themselves into position. Planning the back of dice. Taco won't be there. Bolts swings out, oh. but unable to reposition. Couldn't best do Mao. And so that will be 0-0 zero, zero Nation. Four rounds in a row. Finally getting some foundation right there. Is Taco going to get that defuse on? He's not going to grab it off and... Great closer coming through, but that's another one of those difficult rounds. I think he started off so well as well. Lotto, man. He's that extra element that I was uh, I was talking about that, that's needed on that A side. I felt like in QZ, he was doing his job pretty well. A couple of missed opportunities and missed shots that have been costly, but for the most part, he's been doing excellent work. And Lotto's been a couple of occasions caught off guard on his aggression, caught overextending. And right there, he, he feels the confidence to go for so much. He lands all of the frags as well so great work being done from him so another half by for imperial more shorter are, are they back to back right now and you see he could get flanked out from that connector position just a moment's notice but might not even be needed shredded is the t side of imperial right now and while thank he did end up getting flanked by jota so an op dropped over to fall and but two before and once again no ground gained. It's the same boat for Imperial. That op being retrieved is interesting though. Fallen in the late round here has to get some success in AK as well, can make things all the more interesting. He's grabbed it. He's gotten out of dodge, but he's probably just speaking forward, he's gonna take care of business. In fact, completely destroy them. As we're all tied up at sixes here, again, Dumao looking much better in this map. Finding a big multi-kill of his own, and Zero Zero Nation starting to run away with things in this half. Yeah, now the money is overwhelming in their favor. If Imperial can't start to make a dent, well, I mean, we can see Zero Zero Nation sweep to begin. Cello's gone completely cold, and he's... Half a couple of rounds as well. Considering he started off this map with two triple kills. None of that X Factor going for Imperial right now. We'll see if things change. Yet again, they've just been loving their four-man A start. They've loved having Lotto push aggressively in a party to Mao. The elevated angle will be challenged and unable to be beaten. NQZ, though, misses a big opportunity. And Dumao, he falls. Just Lotto up here, brawling up close. Jota gets the cleanup kill, but how are you going to be ready for Cold Zera? <laughs> it's a 2v2 madness brawl from the get-go. At that fountain position, it's a 2v2. Actually, cannot believe your eyes when that fourth player turns the corner, right? That's one of those situations where... You know you just walked into a stack, but you know that also you did a lot of damage here. And Cello super zoned in on where that peak could potentially come from. There's a Jiggle spotted out, but oh, Cold sticks his nose out just enough to find it. But he doesn't know that Bomb's just been recovered. And both players joined up towards Long to make things all more interesting. Cold, oh, oh. easy job to be done onto Cello, but <gasps> he, spotted oh, he spotted the last out. He has a headshot angle, but no. Finished off by Taco, who will save the day in a very close way. But it's not closed out. That would have been a heartbreak around for 0-0 zero, zero if they found a way to lose that. They had a four-man setup. The whole team clashed at the fountain position. And they almost faltered. Timeout called in from Imperial, though. That that kind of round says something that, you know, 0-0, zero, zero, they kind of have a, their finger on the pulse right now. The fact that you are able to play a four-man A setup and not get punished by the counters of that would just be the fast B play. So rethinking the approach here is Imperial as Zero Zero Nation have got the game right now. They've taken the lead, believe it or not. They were down six to one. Yeah, sending the resources towards A has been such a valuable asset for them. So if they can continue that, then They'll be in good stead, but again, like you said, I mean, 
Imperial do have that option of going for a quicker B approach. That's always a opportunity. Wow. And somehow just taking a fight there. Knowing that his opponents are on a lack of approach is still the riskiest business. Why is the opening advantage? Right now they're locked out of the outside of the smoke right now. Imperial were gearing up for a B play. But immediately locked out. Cello has been kept down to near nothing. Uh, the last two kills he got were in that previous round. Uh, that has been a cold game. Let's see if they can turn up the heat. Imperial as they head into the B site. Jota gets cut down and crossfire. The setup is absolutely perfect for Zero Zero. There's no issues for this defensive side right now. Seven in a row. And looking to put themselves up to 9-6. Locking Imperial out of this half. Super competitive right now, Zero Zero Nation. Able to take that momentum right back into their hands here. And Imperial, this last round, it could be a nice momentum stopper if they were able to get it. But if not, then I do start to fear for their chances on overpass. It's looking a bit sour at the moment. Sure, they got off to a hell of a start, that 1-6 to six score line, but... If you get nothing else from there and you end up getting closed out upon then you're walking away with your hands in your pocket there as NQZ makes fall and spectate from the sidelines. Dumao has an opportunity as well in this connection. Getting chased Come down by on. the headshots coming through and Dumao oh. just sticks out enough for a double kill. That is just nasty. That's so unbelievable. He had two players watching him. And he demolished them. This is the zero zero we were looking to see on new. Oh, hello, Anki Z. Not the blind spot. I was thinking, feeling this round's not over. Wait a second. Yeah, they've completely left B. Oh, no, they haven't. There's one player jump spotting there, so all good. Cold Zero's got a weird flank going on. It's all a game of timing now if they can catch this B player off guard. Of course, if they take too much time, though, then Cold Zero is about to get all the information, and there's about to be no problem. Cold's coming in through Khan. Uh, this is a problem, as he almost finds both kills, spots the last player. Dota, we would call his chances in this clutch cooked. Let's see what you can do. Dumao, unblinded by that. He's going to get himself a triple kill. Eight rounds in a row for Zero Zero Nation. They're up three rounds at the half.
and a very, very clean close to the first half for Zero Zero Nation. Eight rounds straight, a complete turnaround of what that nuke was. A 16-3 for that matter. So let's see if they can close this one out, right the ship, and send us to Ancient. My name is Fly. I'm joined by Cole Extra Nuke Henry, as we have quite the legendary brawl in front of us. Yeah, we do. And it might have taken a, a little bit longer than Zero Zero would have hoped to get activated, to get the fl flame ignited, but they finally do. They won those eight runs in a row. And this is what we were talking about, looking a little bit more like how they were playing just yesterday versus Flamengo. You know, really steamrolling their opposition, finding so much success, Hello. but poor Lotto <laughs> getting greeted with warm welcomes by Jota is gonna force their hand in towards the B side in which they have a hefty set of bolts close by. This still has a tough angle though with the dualies, he's able to find one in some change, but only one. Making the job a little bit more difficult for these B players. Oh, unblinded by the flash, Fallen sees it coming. Unfazed. Two oh. kills for him. Taco will eventually take him out and give himself an opportunity, but no armor on the play. Cello takes him down. Pistol round for Imperial. And let's be real. It's game is not over and done with, despite Zero Zero Nation having a good CT side. Let's not forget what Imperial started off with on Nuke. Yeah, CT side dominance is certainly a possibility here with uh, any team, and especially Imperial. I feel like they're so much better on their CT sides. Again, we're going to be taking a real highlight as to what this duo is going to be looking like with actually Cello playing over towards that A side right now, but imagine that, that very well could change. In the meantime, though, be rushing play. It's a full force by and Vinny gonna start to step it up. Great oh, counter utility oh, from Cole, and everyone's blinded up and everyone's falling to bits. Calma, Vinny, calma. Oh my goodness, that was a vintage Vinny moment right there on his B-holes. And that's something you have to take into account when Imperial play overpass is their B site holds are really what just power this unit. Cello and Vinny are terrifying duo to deal with. And now that you have Joe to working that A site, we'll see how that changes as you were talking about in the pregame. But yeah, yeah, this is an Imperial CT side. Let's not forget. Yeah, no question about that. We just got a warm welcome into that with Vinny in that last round. Doing what he does best and just locking things down in stunning fashion. It's going to be a nice opener as well for Bolts. Making some cash. Hello, Jota as well. Awkward exchange there. A1S runs out of ammo. All of a sudden, they got a gun for themselves. Not the end of the world here. They can do some damage. They can find some extra ground here. I'm playing in the next be all that bad. No, oh, oh my goodness. Another one. Uh-oh. Now, admittedly, I do kind of like this from Cello, just taking away all the space. Removing the question marks from the play here. But smoking a connector? Are they going to disrespect this? They could try to boost up on the pipes, but I think you see seeing no one kind of jiggle peeking around the edge of the smoke. It's going to fade and nothing's behind it. Cello is going to make his way back into Monster. He, he could spot the entire team if he oh. crosses over. If he sees nothing. Oh, but he's going to catch them walking up and lining up his... Oh, this could just be round ending. Uh, sorry, folks. Sorry to rain on your parade, Jeez. Cello. All three real quick. Gets that rifle as well. Tons of money banked up as well. And it's back at equals. We're standing at nine. I mean, that's literally best, best case scenario for him on that timing. He absolutely nailed it. Excellent work being done there from Cello, finding so much cash flow. And again, we'll see what sort of dynamics Imperial can bring on the gun rounds here. If Zero Zero Nation can catch Flame again, then that'll be their big win condition is establishing themselves on this T side, getting some fear into the hearts of Imperial early. But a little boost, I believe, is being set up. Yeah. And they're holding a for that Molly. And yeah, they did get a kill. They got it out of dodge as well. Jota and Cello combining with. Familiar territory, although that's answered by Dumao catching a boost on towards the connector side. Yeah, Bolts tried to boost up on the site, and Dumao is actually knocking on the door of this while they're boosted. Dumao could unhinge this entire B site. Oh, Ooh, it was so Vinny. close. It was Vinny who saved it, but now Jota, he begins to activate, but he's being watched for by NQZ. 
It's a man advantage for zero zero nation, but you can see there's so many more elements that are playing for Imperial. How fast will Cello be on this flank? Oh man, Cello's flanks everything right now, and they're playing their cards right. Vinny's rotated in towards this A side, and the longer you see zero zero delay this round out, the more likely this becomes a difficulty. Oh no! Unbelievable. No way. But he's Vinny's gonna roll into B. Hold on. But Vinny, they, they don't really have time to rotate to the other side. That's the problem. I think they so do. Vinny, it's thirty seconds. I mean, they're in long. They're holding their line. They are oh. committed to this A site. So I guess Cold Zara, he's gonna walk up through bank, but eventually something's gotta give. They're just shift walking up towards long. Cold Zara, he's just gonna start stomping, making a ton of noise, trying to be a big distraction. He's gonna clear out the site for them. And oh, they're running with the bomb out in bank. Cold Zara, though, he's so precise. He needed to be, and because of that, zero zero will get the round. There's just no way he gets away with that. Cold Zero just fails them out in every sense of the word. The un impossible shot he just landed right there on the guy. It's like he knew he was there all along. And he was just figuring out a way he could take him out. It's a standoff. But Cold Zero is just that sharp. He's that prepared. He's that ready. And that's the sort of round that they need to kick off this T side. Still, though, Vinny put up a hell of an effort. In fact, just how patient he was yeah. on the play. Like, there is still... Imperial give themselves the best opportunities to win these low-man situations, and I think that's what's made them such a deadly team, especially hearkening back to that RMR, how many deficits they were able to claw back before the player break. That was one of the deadliest parts about this team. They can just make anything happen. So, keep that in mind as... You know, they go into quote unquote man disadvantages. Yeah, that's an excellent point there. I mean, you couple that with the fact that these guys, when the games get extended in towards those long, drawn out series, I feel like that's their, their bread and butter. They go the marathon, that's for sure. But right now, vulnerability towards long, although I think they want to funnel them in towards this A side with the setup that they've got going on. Kind of a dreamy scenario outside of Bolts only wielding a 5-7. Outside of that fact, then, they should be fielding a, a solid defense here. It's only Bolts, though. His teammates don't really want to peel off their angles. It's going to be Cello stepping forward. Mac-10 up close. What a swing. Cello, excellent. Fallen even strikes. Now the 5-7 works his magic, and it's a complete wash on the A site. Imperial. This setup works absolutely flawlessly. We're back to 10-all. Yeah, that's exactly what they wanted right there. That funnel in towards long is the crossfire that they dreamed of. And especially when you don't have that smoke that allows you to cross out from sight without worrying about the bathroom's position, it makes the job even easier. Falling can take that first contact bolt. So all he has to do is distract a little while, be that chaos creator. And he does a little bit extra. He lands a kill. He finishes the job as well with that. And so perfect setup there from Imperial. They funnel right into their hands. Now they're down to pistols. Of course, this is only the half. My Tech 9, though, sneaks right underneath bolts. Or Cello, rather. That could have been lethal or oh, Cold Zero Eagle. Let's not forget what this thing has done. That Deagle, that Deagle skin, that Cold Wields, that has seen many a story. It has. So a huge relief taking him out of the server, but that shot on the cello is, is a prime <laughs> example of what you want. Now, just these remaining pistols to contact lock onto the site. And fallen, strikes an NQZ. Yeah, it just becomes an impossibility. You have to swing dry on... Fallen's AWP, which has been pretty darn sharp today. Now, gets a little awkward, but Vinny pops up, deals with Taco, and that's the lead for Imperial right back. This game still going. The game's still going. Imperial setting their sights towards 16 as well. 
Job's going to be difficult to close with how uh, how effective I feel like Cold's playing right now in some of the opening exchanges, but the game plan is still, uh, I would say, a bit sharper for Imperial. The coordination's certainly there off of what their setup on the, the A sites have been looking like, so a lot to be excited about. And actually something I talked about coming into this was the way Fallen and Jota would play off each other, but it's Cello that's playing over there in, in place of Fur, which is super interesting, although Jota is on A in this occasion. And he's very up front and personal right now. Getting tucked in towards A side. There is one player in towards playground that he has to worry about. He has to turn towards, but he might just walk on past him and thread the needle. In the meantime, Cello gets that spot onto Jumao. Some chip damage could actually help those M4s get the finishing blow. But other than that, zero zero nation. Huddling together in connector. Chetlo on the other side is holding a very nifty angle. If they do try to push his position, but... Very hesitant. Taking their time waiting for a mistake right now, or zero zero nation. But nothing giving right now on the side of Imperial. Yeah, Trio pack is over towards that A side there as the rest of the roster tries to draw out attention, but time is always going to be a big factor here. And Fallen oh, is no. just taking care of their lurk on B. In fact, they wanted to reroute in towards B, but that might set some serious hesitation in which they cannot afford. Oh, 30 seconds, but Imperial just started to rotate off of it. They, they started getting paranoid at 20 seconds remaining, and Imperial, with such little time remaining, have made the absolute wrong read. Now, Fall Vinny, rather, is scrambling to get back into position on the site while this exit comes through with 10 seconds remaining. But oh Fallen is just going to do it all on his own. Three on the round, and the flank is there. This is just dominance now from Imperial. They're right back in the driver's seat. That last second decision couldn't have been timed worse right there. As soon as you make the call to rotate back in towards that A side, or rather B-side, that's when Fallen finds a kill on Taco, the one that was probably making that call to say, guys, come on in. The water's fine, but in fact it wasn't. There was a shark in there, and that is Fallen himself just completely shutting down their, their hopes in that round. I mean, you're starting to see desperation out of zero zero. Colterra has fully bought down in this round. Zero dollars to his name, and he's Whoa. dead. Now, Dumao trying to make a move, but it's not, it's the angle bad for him. Jota can see his elbow before he can see anything. Now, Taco comes through Ooh. with the triple. What is this? Where did this come from? It's a 2v2 all of a sudden. Taco's just made it happen on his own. This man possessed right there in this round. He might save him. He might bail him out of a very scary scoreline. Talk. Oh no, not happening. Cello, what a spray transfer. Now, NQZ unable to clutch. Dude. I mean, what an effort, sure, but good grief. Yeah, I mean, every every sort of situation right there favors Taco in that peak when Cello's just spamming through his smoke, right? But Cello's transfer, it doesn't give him a second. Well, just as impressive so, was Taco's transfer. That That's sick as I, well, man. My God. I mean, again... I feel like Taco, some of these performances that he's had have been uh, super impressive. Despite, you know, being a little bit lackluster in the scoreline, it's that X Factor that you love to have in an IGL where in any given round, he can be a playmaker. You know, he used to have one of the highest headshot percentages out of any player in Counter-Strike. I'll tell you that. He used to have above a 60% headshot rating, which is headshot percentage, which is... I can't give you, like, a percentile, but that is definitely, like, within the top 5% of players. Yeah, no, no question about that. It's super impressive, especially with the amount of uh, just games that he's played, right? That's throughout a, a massive sample size. Yeah, even, yeah, in the last three months, he has a 59% headshot rating. But, yeah, it just shows that, he, yeah, you know, he has potential. He does hit headshots. He's just in a difficult position every single time. Certainly has that ability about him. There's no doubt. It's a blast to watch when it works out like that last round as well, but unfortunately, does it pan out in their favor? And again, they're going for this cheeky little boost in connector, man. Very hard to anticipate this coming out. They've also smoked deep out of monster, which is super interesting. I, I think that's... That. I, I, is that... 
An intended smoke? I'm... It looks like the Copenhagen Flames Molly smoke combo that they were doing at one point. Hmm. The, the classic there that uh, was going live on Reddit. And, oh, what? <laughs> oh, fallen. That's a wrist snapper right there, but he nails it. Jeez. It feels like Fallen has beat NQZ every single time on that AWP. At least from what I can recall. It has been really consistent. On this map in particular, he has uh, he has had the better end of it in so many different exchanges. And that's just something you can't even expect out of a guy like Fallen. But this is his map, man. This is his domain. He's yep. going to get those kills. I mean, Fallen single-handedly just cleared all of that party side, and with they're going to start swinging in, getting aggressive, and oh taking the God. fight. Cold Zero oh. down, Fallen for three! This guy's going off! Unstoppable! Bolt's even following up! I can't believe it. 31 years old, and by the end of this map, he might have exactly that many kills. You never know. <laughs> oh, still still going for it. Dimal has to save, but Fallen is taking over, man! It's just a highlight reel for him, and he might hear the exit here of Dumal. Very awkward exchange he's going to find, it. and that's probably going to alleviate any pressure. Fallen, he's had a hell of a round, but he doesn't want to give up his off. He wants to keep wielding that for future rounds. So he'll let Dumal play with his off for another one or two. Doesn't matter because he's still winning the head-to-heads. You can have an op all you want. He's winning the fights. <laughs> that round is a hell of a statement for the doubters out there. He has got it in him. I mean, this game in particular, on the CT side, he has been on top of things. He had a 3k down on that B side hold, if you remember that. Yeah. Now here on the A side of the map, but oh, this time? Oh, well. Dumao has got something to say about that one. He just got two tapped. That's one way to take care of business. You needed that. That's for sure. The star of the show is taken down early. All right, Cello. Let's see it. They don't check the corner. He gets two. Oh, that's, no. That's robbery from that position. Wolves. Gonna make the rotation in. Needs to be a bit quick on his feet, though, here. If he delays things out, site going to be claimed, and that's the case right now. They have been able to take control, making the job all the more difficult. Bomb going down as well, and then QZ can start to establish himself in a post plant here, safe and sound. Everyone, in fact, can get themselves into a post plant. Good news is, though, multiple smokes in play. Jota and Vinny both are wielding that, so that can give them opportunities. Yeah, smokes are the wind condition. Smokes can set some panic in. An interesting smoke from Dumao, but they're already past that. They're not going to care. They're already on the site. Here we go. Smokes start to get deployed. One of them kind of is off the mark. Actually, there's a little wall of smoke. And Bolts finds the first kill on a Dumal. Up above, the defuse needs to start. They need to deny Jota. Oh. They're missing the shots. Jota's going to get it in. With 9 HP, he escapes. And it's series point for Imperial. Pro League point for Imperial. Oh, man. What a way to get there. We talked about it. We knew that that smoke was going to be a huge problem right there in the post split. You know how deadly those can be. As soon as you look at that and you see it on the bomb, it immediately becomes so much more likely that the CT side is going to get the job done right there. And it's another case of just highway robbery coming through from Imperial. They do gather that series point. They're staring down the barrel of Pro League, and all they need is one more. Jota, oh my goodness, this, this is what's going to bring you to Pro League? That kind of push? Sure, he goes down, but maybe that information could help him out there. It looks like it's probably set some hesitation in Zero Zero's commitment, right? Hitting the pause on that aggression. But it does give them what has been a rather rare opening advantage. Had it in the last round, it wasn't enough with Jello. Answering right back with two, but this occasion there is no reply just yet. Darko's opener goes unanswered. Zero Zero Nation, whenever they stall these rounds out, I do start to become a little bit fearful. There's always some sense of proactivity here in Imperial, and I think they're going to try that again towards B. Fallen's up to no good. 
big off angle. I like that off angle because it plays in front of all the flashbangs. It's difficult to knock him off the line. He's got a lot of control here. Only 30 seconds. He's going to do the same thing uh, just that he did just a couple rounds prior where he immediately sets that hesitation and once they try and move in towards B. Oh, Bolt gets that first kill, but can he escape? He gets a second. He just took down NQZ. And now Fallen on the off angle. Imperial are looking to book themselves a spot in Pro League. Oh. Fallen, another triple kill for him. 16 to 10, 2 0. See you in Malta. And Fallen just going to wrap that series up with a nice little bow on top. Beautiful work being done from him. It's fitting that he's the one to close it on overpass as well with the 3k, doing what he does best, just throwing a wrench in 0-0 Nation system. Again, you could see the errors in that stall. You could see the issue start to formulate. It was so very clear. Once that round hit around 40 seconds, 30 seconds.